Welcome to this video. Today we will be testing the free version of Bitdefender, and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 346 samples in total, and we will be using these samples to see how well Bitdefender does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. If you like these type of videos and would like to support the production of these type of videos, go ahead and hit the join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month. Also, if you would like to see Bitdefender versus Windows Security, aka Windows Defender, and head-to-head -head competition, that video will be linked in the video description as a member-only video. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection for Bitdefender. We'll let it sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a scan. If there's samples remaining after that, we will scan the samples folder directly. And if there's still samples remaining, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. And we confirmed we are up to date. The real-time protection has been enabled, so we'll let Bitdefender sit for just a few minutes. A few minutes have passed. Let's double check our samples folder. We are still at 346. However, this did just pop up, so we'll give it a few extra minutes to see what it does. And it looks like it just kept going. We are now down to 248. And since Bitdefender has already detected the folder, at this point, we're not going to do a full system scan because the purpose of that is to test whether or not it actually really does a full system scan. And so at this point, we're just going to scan the samples folder directly and we'll let this run until it's fully completed. The scan finished, found 226. So we're going to go ahead and remove these. Bitdefender is reporting it resolved 236 and is requesting a restart. So we'll go ahead and do that. After restart, we're down to 26. And for due diligence, we'll just scan one last time and we will let this run. And it looks like it did not detect anything. So at this point, we'll go ahead and execute. Execution has completed and we now have 53 items uh, in our samples folder. So it looks like some additional junk got added. We also have some new things on the computer. There are still warnings going off and it looks like we are now down to 52. So we're going to let it sit here for just a few minutes to see if it can do any last minute cleaning. Uh, there are a lot of warnings and detections going off of things being blocked, quarantine detected. So we're going to give Bitdefender a few extra minutes after which we will restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. Please be aware after restart, we are now down to 51. I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, which came back with 11 detections, so we'll go ahead and quarantine. Also ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean, no results detected. When accounting for the garbage that was added to the samples folder when one of the samples was executed, we have 11 samples remaining that were not detected by any of the scans we ran. And again, we do have some additional stuff on the computer. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. Bitdefender very well may perform differently in other types of tests. But you can take these results and draw your own conclusion. And that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.